What's good with the YouTube? It's your boy Sarah Hudson back with another video. And today we're gonna to be doing a quick unboxing of the Yeti X and giving a quick comparison to my Yeti Blackout. So the reason I purchased the Yeti X was because I was having issues with my um Yeti Blackout. It picked up the vocals just fine, but the problem was it was picking up everything in the background, even when I read it on the setting that I wanted to run on, which was the cardio. It was supposed to just pick up my vocals and not so much the background noises. Like, it, you can hear everything from a scratch, a sneeze. It picked up pressing of the button, the vibration of the controller, and everything and as such. And to me, that was a problem because I was more so worried about whether it was picking up everything instead of being able to focus on uh, my recording like I wanted to. So it threw me off a lot because you could hear pretty much, if you can look at all my old, vid um, my recent videos, you could hear the controller vibrating, you could hear me pressing the buttons and everything. And on cardioid, you're not supposed to be able to hear all of that. So that was the issue that I was having with the um, Yeti Blackout and the reason I purchased the Yeti X. So after I get everything in the box, I'm going to give you guys a sound test of both the Yeti X and the Yeti Blackout to let you guys know what each one sound like with the pressing of the buttons, a cr um, scratch or snapping of the fingers. So you guys get an understanding of what I was, where I was coming from and what I meant by it, it was picking up everything. And we're going to see if the Yeti X stands by what I was told about it with not being able to pick up all the extra noises on the cardioid for gaming and streaming. So yeah, we're going to get these things unboxed and show you guys what's inside. I already got the, well, obviously, the Yeti um, Blackout unbox. I'm going to um, give it a comparison in size and everything and let you guys see what it looks like standing next to the Yeti X after I get everything unboxed. All right, man, so we better get into it, get these things, well, get this thing unboxed and show you what's inside the um, Yeti's X box. All right, here we go, man. Like I said, this is the, um, this is the blackout. This is my old box. And this is the setting that I ran it on. was the um, cardioid, which for is for the gaming and the streaming. And they got the same settings, but this, this one is the professional one, so it's supposed to work better than the original one all right man Let's see what's inside here um i just noticed this is called the blackout as well i guess probably because of the color yeah You guys probably want to see what's around it. It's in the box is way comparison. The box is way bigger than the um other box too. It's thicker. They about the same height, but it's the box is a little bit thicker. So I don't know how bigger big the mic is compared to the other one. So you just slide that out. Box empty. We'll put this to the side. There's a little pamphlet. Instructions. That's the Yeti. I think this USB right here. Yeah, so this one USB, but it's still other USB. The um, well, not the. Yeah, the newer USB. Not the Type C though. Put that to the side. Right, get the Yeti out. All 
make sure that's everything out the box. Yeah, I think that's it. That's everything out the box. You get the Yeti. You get the USB. This the back right here. This is for the patterns. Patterns to go through the different modes. It's four modes, just like the um, old one. It definitely feels. Let me see. I got the old one up here too, so I compare the size of them. Loosen that up a little bit. The base got a nice little, I guess you could call it a charcoal chrome look. And the old one is just completely black. Alright, that's both of the front. They look about the same size. So yeah, to me, they're pretty much the same height, same about, about the same size. They haven't really changed much, that, much in that, and the weight is about the same as well. A couple things that I did notice is that the newer one, it don't have words or lettering too much. On the front of it, like the old one, that's the front of it, of the new one and the old one. Like it tells you the volume and everything. This one, from the video that I seen, this one is everything is digital. So it lights up and it's got indicators and everything to let you know what's going on with the volume and everything. I'm going to try to power it on, give you guys a quick look at that as well. So you can see what that looks like. And on the back, this one is on the setting that I, um... Normally running on this, which was the um, cardioid, which looked like an up down, upside down heart. And this one on the back, like I showed you before, it just has the pattern button. It has the digital lights on it as well, as the, like in the front. So yeah, this one is pretty much like it di it's digital. It don't have as many buttons as the older one. And on the bottom, almost the same. Except for the, it has the newer USB, and this one has the older one. Still have your um hair, headphone jack. And uh, another thing I did notice is right here, you do get the um blue on the back of it as well. On the other one, you don't get that. So you get a little bit more embroidery on the newer one, which is nice. Like I said, this one has like a glossy chrome, more like a charcoal chrome though. Um, chrome finish to it. This one is just completely matted. I definitely like the way the new one looks. But yeah. That's what they look like um, side by side. Like I said, it's not too much of a difference in size. They're pretty much almost the same. Feel about the same weight. So yeah, that's all that comes in the box. I'm gonna um, give these both a test run on the sound and the um, audio. Let you guys hear what that sounds like. Like I was talking about before with the Yeti Blackout, the older one, how it picks up everything and don't block out the extra noise like it's supposed to. And hopefully the new one does what it's supposed to and blocks out all the noise. So yeah, all right, stay tuned. Also, Yeti um, has a app you can go to where you can change the indicator on the front to where you hit the mute button and you can change the color of the mute button to where it's not just red and green. Because usually when you're good to talk, it's green and when you mute it, it's red. You know, yeah, um, before I forget, here's a quick power up and just to show you guys what it looks like with the um, Yeti X powered up. So I'm going to give this guy some juice. See what that looks like. All right, so it's powered on. As you can see, as I'm talking, the indicator moves up and down, and if I get louder, it lets you know like you're breaking the meter. Here's the yellow, here's the green. And then when you mute it, 
it turns red. So that's a good thing as well. And on the back, the um, patterns, let me see if you can see that as well. Here's the patterns. Yeah, so when you change the patterns, when you change the patterns, you can see it right here. Let me get it a little bit closer. Let me get this one out the way. Just click it and it goes through all four patterns. So yeah, man, that was the quick unboxing of the Yeti X. Just to give you guys a quick comparison against the old one, the blackout, the one that I have. Hope you guys enjoyed. All right, so this is the first audio test on the Blue Yeti blackout, the original one. So it picks up my voice just fine. And I'm gonna do a couple tests and see if it picks it up. Well just show you what it picks up. The first one is the first one is with my controller, just pressing the buttons on the controller. And this is having a controller behind the mic. And that was one of the issues that I had, was that it picked up all the button pressings and the vibrations of the controller. I'm also snap around it and see how that works as well. And then, like I said, I'm doing this all behind the mic, where it's not supposed to pick it up as much. And I'm gonna scratch as well. And that was all on the older Yeti, the blackout one. All right, this is the Blue Yeti X. And this is the audio on that. Like before, I'm gonna do the do a couple tests on it, let you hear what it sounds like and the differences between the two. All right, like the controller before, I'm gonna press the buttons directly behind it, a nice little distance, all right. All right, I'm gonna snap around it as well. All right, now I'm gonna do a scratch as well. So yeah, that was the um, audio test between the two. To me personally, it sounded like the um, Yeti X had a small difference. Not a humongous difference, but a difference you could hear um, in the sound testing with the um, controller and the snapping and the scratching. So I think it'll make a little bit of difference, but I might have to add a couple of things to it to make um, the extra noise go away. Let me know what you guys think in the um, comments down below what you guys heard if if there was a difference or not and if you have any tips or ideas to make the audio the audio sound better and have a better quality sound because i think the yeti is a good microphone i just think i probably need more things to go around and like pop filter or something to keep the wind and everything from coming in so heavy but i like i said i think the mic is a good mic i definitely think it's um worth it in my opinion, if you already have the um, older Yeti, unless you really want to upgrade, you don't have to. But if you're looking to get one, I say get the um, newer Yeti over the older one. 
because you get the um, new tech with the, um, you get less buttons and you get all the digital knobs and everything. And it looks nice. But like I said, for both, probably the um, thing to do is to get um, filters and everything for them to help the quality of the sound. Which I just noticed is probably the um, issue with what I had with my older um, mic. But yeah, man, that's it. This your boy, Sir Hudson. And I'm out.